want to die, thief! Abel, have you seen Wallace? Be one of us. Good. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She is a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbed, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Jalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor. Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. If you're not yet drunk, you should be. This is a feast and a celebration of Sigurd's leadership. Enjoy it. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? <sighs> Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! Bad 
Battle run me! Burn them to the ground! Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Giedland. While there's none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? <sighs> we are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us, and the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. <sighs> I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. You look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? Gods, Eivor! I was robbed! On the road between here and Lincoln! By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, 
Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Rowan. Ah, Eivor. How's the day, my friend? I'm well, Rowan. I had only a small question. Do you know anyone named Guthban? Guthban? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Should I? It is not a question of should. Ah. Is it a horse? Uh, no, it's, uh... A lover? No, Rowan, it's... It, it's no one. You came here to ask me about no one. Thank you for your time. The air has a nice scent to it today. Octavian. Ah, salve, Eivor. How are you? Well, thank you. A question. Does the name Guthban mean anything to you? Guthban? Hmm. It's not Latin, is it? It is a name, I think. But no face comes to mind. I fear it may be a moniker. A false name. So you came to me? Why would you come to me about a false name? Do you think my name is false? No. Is it? I am Octavian. I've always been Octavian. Now, please, Eivor, this is not a good time for me. I am terribly busy. Good day. Tarbin, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthban, Eivor. It means Battlebone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarbin, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarbin? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face... Good. I want you to know. Should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There's nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what Evil. must be done to protect you my have a moment to spare. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you?
Before we are spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago. him a decade ago and he was the first person to truly welcome to see some value in me he told me i had a gift for intimidation persuasion violence how to use me. What do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditioned. Wilf only loves what he owns. So what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind? Stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. Gothbin, my boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message, and you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat. Did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well. 
but I gave him the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camped not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. Eivor, this isn't your fight. You don't need to do this. But I am. Now listen. When we reach the camp, leave everything to me. I will find Wilk's goods and bring them to you. If I'm spotted, it won't be pretty. Many may die, and I do not want you involved. You must not... If they see me, this will get messy.
If I'm spotted, it won't be pretty. Many may die, and I do not want you involved. You must not break your vow. No vow stands above my duty to my friends, Eivor. I could not leave you alone with them should they attack. If it comes to that, stand aside until then. I will. You have my word. Yo! I should be cautious around here. Wait here, and stay out of sight. You found it! I did. Let's bring this back to wealth. You handled that better than I would have. 
Is this the sort of work you did with Wilf and your family of Marauders? A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, cheated the dimwit. We were lower than slugs. I shudder to remember our best days. And I weep for our worst. Let it go, then. Remember only what makes you... Let it go, then. Remember only what makes you a better man. Turned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness. Such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age. No mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tobin the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. 